This episode of The Young Turks brought to you by Thrillist. We've been talking about the Republican war on women for a couple weeks now. Uh, legislators in uh, Indiana want to continue this war on w uh, women. In fact, right now there is a bill proposed in Indiana by Re uh, Republican Representative Eric Turner and what this bill would basically do is force doctors to tell women who are seeking abortions that uh, their abortion may lead to breast cancer. Uh, they are also forcing women to look at ultrasounds of the fetus before they get an abortion and they are also, doctors are also forced to tell women that the fetus will feel pain during the abortion, okay? All of this is absolute BS, okay? The American Cancer Society back in 2003 said that there is absolutely no scientific proof that uh, having an abortion will lead to breast cancer. In fact, it's, it's the opposite, okay? Uh, they found that neither induced nor spontaneous abortions lead to increase in breast cancer. In fact, the risk is actually increased for a short period after a woman carries pregnancy to full term. But Republicans in Indiana don't care about that. They're all about making pe women feel terrible about the fact that they're seeking abortion. They want women to feel guilty, and they'll do anything it takes to make them feel horrible about it. Uh, Anna, I don't know if you know this, but if you get an abortion, you might get syphilis. <laughs> I don't know. Like As long as we're making stuff up, uh, you know what? <laughs> Indiana, why don't you make that up, too, and tell women a bunch of lies? And... If you get an abortion, it's possible that Martians will invade the, uh, the United States and Lebanon. I mean, we're just making stuff up, right? So right. let's just make more stuff up. And it's possible that your aunt will have a heart attack. Yeah, I know. And it's, it's so absurd. It's so absurd and stupid. And it, what really angers me about it is the fact that, you know, in Indiana, most of the representatives there are Republicans. So it's very likely that this type of bill would pass, okay, making it even harder for women in that state. And, and of course, we've talked about this all week and, you know, a couple of weeks prior. There are other states in the U.S. right now that are doing whatever they can to make sure that w women have the hardest time to obtain an abortion. Or if they do get an abortion, they're totally guilted all the way through it. They just feel like absolute shit all the way through it because these doctors are forced to tell them that they're horrible human beings. Do you know that if you get an abortion, you're no longer allowed to eat any Chinese food? And your uncle will lose every backgammon game he plays for the rest of his life. Oh. Look, here's a, <laughs> just random things that will uh, happen to you if you get an abortion. Seriously, here, here's the, the problem. Look, I'm not asking the media to pick sides and say uh, the pro-life position is correct or the pro-choice position is correct. That's an opinion. And they're idea on where life starts that's you know look i think that's an interesting debate you could make the argument for conception now you might not agree with that argument but it's a, i think it's a perfectly legitimate argument uh what i'm asking the media to do is to report on facts and it isn't it's a fact that the fetus does not feel pain in the first three weeks it's just to say that he does among you know all the other things that they're making up it's just not true those nerve senses have not even formed, have not come close to forming. Uh, uh, you know, uh, breast cancer, it's not true. You don't get breast cancer from abortion. So it's one thing to have an opinion. I got no problems with it. Don't choose sides on that. But for them to press on things that are not facts, they should be universally disdained and, and ridiculed and shamed. Uh, and instead, uh, we've got a press that says, well, one side says this, the other side says that. <laughs> I'm going to run away. No, the press is even worse than that, okay? Right now when we did this story, I told you what uh, politicians in Indiana want to do and what they're saying uh, abortion leads to, right? The mainstream media will do that, but they'll never mention the fact that the American Cancer Society, back in February of 2003, found out that no, abortion does not lead to breast cancer. The mainstream media will completely ignore that, right? And by the way, I just want to note really quick, Jenk, uh, you've released your list of your man crushes years ago, years ago. But, you know, when it comes to this, uh, all these abortion stories, I realized that my woman crush is Amanda Turkle. If you want to get real information about all these abortion bills, read her blog, okay? Read anything she writes because she'll give you the truth and she'll give you the facts. And I freaking love it. She's great. So, a, you know, a random I'm... shout out for Amanda Turkle.
And now we have a new sponsor, Thrillist. Uh, they're very cool because they hook you up with uh, really interesting things going on in your town or any town you might be in that you don't know about. Right. They also let you know where the best restaurants, bars, venues are. Thrillist.com slash TYT.